I'm here in Silicon Valley, and at the center of the valley is Box, one of the key players in the tech revolution. And I'm lucky enough to be with Karen Appleton, who's a senior vice president of industry and the founder of Box.org, which has been an invaluable tool for nonprofits. Hi, Karen. Thanks for being with us. Hey, John. How are you? Nice to see you. Good. Uh, tell us a little bit about the mission and the founding of Box.org. Absolutely. So, you know the mission of Box is to help companies to um, collaborate and to be more productive um, while staying in a very secure environment. The mission of Box.org is to build upon that. Uh, from a very early time, Aaron and I knew that you know, as we were building this company, we wanted to make sure that we were also conscious about giving back. So if you take the idea of Box, which enables companies to share their most important information in an online environment, the mission of Box.org is to give that same technology to nonprofits who often struggle with not enough resources, not enough people, and not a deep understanding of the technology tools that can help. So the mission of Box.org is to give nonprofits around the world technology tools that help them to be more productive and to achieve their mission. Aaron Levy is the CEO of Box, and he started this company out of his dorm room, I believe, in USC. Um, talk a little bit about his philosophy on philanthropy, because he's one of the pioneers in this industry when it comes to philanthropy. We both want to make sure that there is an impact that we can help create in not only giving back, but making sure that nonprofits have the, the technology tools that can help. You know, we can't make as much impact globally without having the technologies in the hands of the people that can actually make the difference. Now, some of the partnerships you have are really interesting, especially those involving women and girls. Can you talk about a few of those? Absolutely. So um, one is Girl Scouts. Uh, everyone is familiar with Girl Scouts of America, and Box is helping the headquarters operation of Girl Scouts. Um, we're also helping the, the Global Women's Fund um, in their efforts globally to give tools to women. So they are a grant-making organization and they've been using Box um, company-wide, organization-wide, to help them to collaborate and to, to share documents. Are there any other developments, say, in terms of more women in technology that aren't enough women in key positions in tech or in jobs in general within tech? I'm very involved in the diversity issues that are that we're that we're thinking about and facing here in Silicon Valley. Um, it's a global challenge. We have an, um, an incredible base of senior level women engineers and are always looking to to make those types of hires and to make sure that once they're here, that they're given the challenges that they um, that they need to be happy to you know to sustain them to grow them. Um, so that's a huge huge course of of the of the work that we're doing here is making sure that the opportunities inside the walls of Box are fulfilling and engaging and, and will carry on for years and years. There are certain trends or certain types of things on the horizon that excite you that you see that involving tech or even non-tech? So there's an organization um, that was just that's just kind of coming coming out right now called Glassbreakers, and it's a database that organizations can use to provide their female employees with mentoring opportunities. It'd be interesting to see the new era or the next generation of women kind of bubbling up who take on more of a high profile role. And I think we're gonna maybe see that in the next five or 10 years, we would hope. Awareness drives everything. If you don't know there's a problem, you're not gonna change anything that you're doing. If the problem becomes surface and open for conversation, then new, new ideas will come out and people will, will tackle things in a different way.